And good morning. Welcome. I'm Anthony and this is Bad Idea Metals. Today, I'd like to answer a question for myself. And I don't know how many of you have had this question. We've got some of these BGA chips off of motherboards and off of video cards. For example, here's one off of a laptop motherboard. I want to I want to know how useless these really are. So, they've got what look like gold flashing around. They've got their silicone die. But uh they're not these gold cornered BGAs that you could tear the green fibers off. The green fiber backing, um, it's got all the BGA, the, the array right here, and uh, they're pretty useless on the, on the fiber side, but these black caps are like, they're my favorite. They're what I hunt after when I look for motherboards. So these are really good, and I've been told that these are really bad. So today, I've prepared a lye bath for them to sit in. And we're gonna try to take some of this green mask off and to see what truly lies underneath. You can kind of see that there's a, I don't know, it's almost like a relief. You can see the pattern of the traces underneath the solder mask. So I'm hoping that at least it's gonna be some gold plating or something, but. We'll find out when we get there. Let's go ahead and get our lye bath going. Let's turn it up on medium and just let this get hot. Okay, so once this gets hot, we'll dump those in and we'll let them cook for a little bit and we'll toothbrush them off. All right, so we got our protective gear on. Let's go ahead and start feeding our chips down in. Let's make sure we get a count so we know how many we have to fish back out. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we need to hunt for 31 when this process is done. And we'll get them back out. Let's give them a stir. Okay, we're gonna let this go. Um, I may turn up the heat in just a minute, but we'll, uh, we'll let this go and uh, start a timer for about five to 10 minutes and we'll check our progress at that point. Um, it's now getting up to temp. I have seen some of the masks are starting to strip off. So let's pick one at random here. Here's one. And that's a little disappointing that there's not even copper visible here. Let's see if I can get that to show. It's just a brown substrate here. You can see that the green's coming off. So we've got it rinsed. Not very well, but it's rinsed. Oh, look at that. Maybe this will work a little bit better. It looks like there's a mix of copper and possibly some gold lead right there. Well, the toothbrush is not strong enough. Let's see if some aggressive rubbing would get this to come off. It looks like there's a little bit. Huh, let's get a flat screwdriver. Well, there's definitely a copper plate underneath. It doesn't look like there's anything in those trenches. So really, what I want to try to do is pop off the silicone die. So, let's see if I can get underneath it here. Yeah, that's a definite, that's a definite copper. And that silicone die is on there pretty good. So let's uh, 
see if we can do something else to get that out. Yep, that silicon die is on there pretty good, so let's try something else to crack this thing open. It looks like it's copper on the inside too. It's hard to tell without a microscope of some sort. It looks like there's copper little bonds in there. I can get it up enough. There we go. The little bond wires around the sides. It's hard to tell, but it looks like this is entirely copper. I'm pretty confident now that these are absolutely worthless. They're all copper with some very minimal gold flashing. Like you can see there's a little dot in the corner here, right there on the tip. That is a gold dot but there's nothing else about it that's gonna be gold. Just for some thoroughness, let's go ahead and fish the rest of these guys out. Okay, so I dumped the water off into a bucket and I rinsed these off pretty good. Let's take a look. So far, no surprises. Oh, this is a little bit interesting. Let's take a look at this one. So far, no surprises, but this one does look a little interesting. So let's go ahead and clean it off. See what we end up with. It's got raised traces. Hmm. <laughs> That one's pretty cool. You can kind of see there's uh, those leads are, are raised. If I can get this completely cleaned off, that would actually be a cool little thing. Put on a, I don't know, like a keychain or something. Well, there you have it. Um, they're all just copper. Some look like they're uh, a little bit more interesting than others, but for the most part, all of these ones are copper. So I don't have anything interesting to try to recover from this, but I don't know, if you were to rinse them off, you can get some pretty interesting looking ones like this guy right here. The one that has all the raised edges. Not too surprising, but I just did prove to myself and hopefully some of you that these are actually pretty useless when it comes to precious metal refining. The amount of copper on here, I don't know, maybe it goes all the way through. I doubt it. It's not heavy enough to be a solid piece of copper. So it's probably just a copper plate on the front and probably on the back as well. So there you have it. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, Stay tuned for more videos like these. If you are entertained, please consider subscribing and give me a comment. Um, I'm always interested in trying different things. I make a lot of mistakes on this channel and uh, I'm not afraid to show them. So anyway, okay, I will uh, see you in the next video. Good night.